What's up guys, it's your boy Milano Miguel, back at it again with another video. Today is episode 37 of the AC Milan vlog series, so here we go. Mr. Hopeless Dragovski! Well done, y'all, man. I'm going to grass in the morning. Now, go for him, he's trying to shake my hand. I'm on. So, match day 37 in the Italian Serie A. Serie A is coming to a rapid end. Milan's still chasing that Europa League fifth or sixth spot. We have Sampdoria versus Milan. The last time Milan and Sampdoria took off at the San Siro, there was a nil-nil draw, but that was Slatan's debut coming off the bench as a substitute, making the San Siro Europe in his return to Milan. Starting lineup, we had Donnarumma, Calabria, Pierre, Gabia, and Theo Hernandez back from suspension. Then we also had Benacer, who was back from suspension, partnering up with Kessier. And we had Rebic, Chalanoglu, Salamakers, and Zlatan at the top. I'd have to say this was a very interesting start for Milan. Milan came out the blocks up and running. And in the fourth minute, Milan would score a goal from Zlatan Ibrahimovic, coming from an assist from Ante Rebic, who cut down to the wing, put in a cross. Beautiful, powerful header from Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Milan go up 1-0 in the fourth minute. Milan wouldn't stop there. Theo Hernandez would create a beautiful opportunity to score in the eighth minute, but could not convert from inside of the box. Ibrahimovic nearly scored in the 30th minute, but Maya Yoshida would have a crucial goal line clearance for Sampdoria. I was really liking the way that Milan were playing in the first half. The use of the 1-2 pass and go, give and go play off. Give and go play was really effective in the final third for Sampdoria. As you can see, Rebic, Theo Hernandez, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, even Chalanoglu getting into the box and creating opportunities to try and score that second goal after getting that early first goal. The first half was pretty decent, and after halftime, Rebic would come off to be replaced by Leao. I think Rebic has done his due diligence this season for Milan. He came in, he looked unmotivated. There were so many questions about Rebic and his attitude, but he took that criticism, created that into positive energy, and he's been bringing results for Milan. Whether it's scoring crucial goals, or creating assists, or doing flashy tricks to get past defenders, cutting down that left wing. Rebic has been a very important part of this resurgence of Milan. And I know for a fact Milan are going to bring him on a permanent deal. Milan were up and running, trying to find that second goal for the game after halftime. Once again, a good start for Milan, Slatan and Hakan finding each other once again. Slatan with a header going straight to Chalanoglu, who would channel his inner Zlatan, making a high flying kick that ended up in the back of the net, making Milan go up 2 0 in the 52nd minute. There was a VAR check for a foul on Kohli. Um, it seemed as if Hakan made some contact with Kohli, and Kohli fell down before. Hakan got the chance to strike the ball into the net, but the VAR did check it, correct decision, there was no contact, I think he just fell over really easily, um, no simulation, um, but yeah, the goal stead and Milan go up 2-0. With Zlatan and Hakan both getting a goal in this game, Hakan would assist Zlatan yet once again, making a beautiful pass to Zlatan inside of the box, where Zlatan would take a beautiful shot. Powerful finish from Zlatan, making Milan go 3-0 up in the 58th minute. With that goal, Zlatan would become the first player ever in history to score 50 goals for both Milan clubs, Inter Milan and AC Milan. Bravo for Zlatan, congratulations. None other than the man, the myth, the legend, Zlatan Ibrahimovic will always be remembered in Milan colors. A bit of worry and concern for Davide Calabria who went down with a tackle um, and he clutched his hamstring. There is only one game left, but you, you're hoping to see that it's not a serious injury. We have Romagnoli out, so. That's a big, big injury for us. But I think that, you know, Calabria will be fine. Hopefully, fingers crossed. 
Donnarumma put in a great performance today, um, making huge saves. Bonaventura and Castillejo would come off in the 62nd minute to replace Hakan Chaldonoglu and Alexis Salamakers. I think Salamakers had an okay game. Um, he didn't do the best that he could. He keeps trying to recreate these first time finish shots and it's just not working for him. I think it's really good that with Castillejo and Salamakers, Salamakers can play both right back and also play as right mid, which is effective. Um, with squad depth, we may need another right back in my opinion, but I don't know if Milan will go for another right back in the transfer window. It seems like they're set on buying a midfielder and a striker. But nevertheless, there was an interesting turn of events. Simone yeah, Kier would concede that, uh, a penalty, fouling ex-Milan player Andrea Bettolacci. The call went to VAR. In my opinion, there was contact, but very slight. I feel like possibly Bertolacci went over quite easily. But nevertheless, the penalty was given. Sampdoria stepped up to take the penalty, and yet again, Gianluigi Donnarumma pulls off an amazing, beautiful save. Bravissimo, Capitano. Just wow. This man has just been on the terrace since he's got this captain's armband. Like, I think the captain's armband is just doing wonders. Um, hopefully, Donnarumma gets that renewal soon. It's looking more likely, more and more likely. There was a report that him and Zlatan with Mino Raiola to discuss contract negotiations for renewal. So, yeah. But Sampdoria would snag Gogo in the 87th minute. There was nothing that Gianluigi Donnarumma could do about that. That was just a beautiful strike. Sampdoria got that consolation goal. Then Leal would score in the 92nd minute. A beautiful finish outside the box with a right foot powerful struck finesse shot. Beautiful from Leal to see him get another goal. Leal was gonna be very integral for the part of this future Milan and I can't wait to see him grow and develop to become a better player. He has such raw talent, such raw great qualities as a footballer. But yeah, at the end of the game, I'd like to say that Milan completely dominated Sampdoria. They cut off avenues for them to create attacking opportunities in the first half and the second half. They nabbed those goals to put the game to bed. Sampdoria got that penalty, but wasn't able to convert. Um, they got the consolation goal, but hey, um, I'd like to say really good game for Gianluigi Donnarumma, man of the match. Clearly, Zlatan Ibrahimovic scoring two goals, getting an assist. Um, honestly, I think Zlatan deserved a hat trick, um, but he didn't get it. Hakan Chalonoglu, really good game. I think Theo had a good game. I think Calabria had a good game. Stepping in for Conti, you know, doing the job that he needs to do. I think that. We're playing Cagliari on Saturday and then we can get another win. That's all I have for you guys. Forza Milan and peace.